So, two months ago, I uploaded an unboxing video of the Arturia Mini Life Mark II. In the video, I briefly suggested making a tutorial on how to use it with software such as Ableton or FL Studio, but nobody asked for it. So here it is anyway. By the way, here are the timestamps if you need them. You can skip to the video wherever you want to. Right, let's start with Ableton. Now, I'm going to assume that you're already familiar with Ableton Live, so I'm not going to go too basic. But first things first, plug in the Mini Lab. Next, you're going to want to go up to the top left corner and click Live, and then Preferences. After that, this window should appear. Now just make sure that the Mini Lab Mark II is selected in the first three columns. If you happen to be using another Mini controller, that will also appear in these columns. Lastly, in both the Track and Remote columns, select On for both Input and Output. Then you should be good, just load up a sound and start playing. You'll also want to make sure that you're dragging the sound to a MIDI column, otherwise it won't work. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you use the knobs. If you have already tried turning them, then you'll realise that nothing's really working. To fix this, all you need to do is hold shift and press pad 8. Then you should be good. Now for the pads. On Ableton there's a button labelled MIDI which basically lets you control anything you want with it. Once the button is clicked, almost everything will highlight blue. What you can do with this is select a certain control by clicking on it and then highlighting a pad or turning a knob. What that does is it assigns a certain setting to a pad, which you can use simply by tapping it. You can do this with anything, so you can get creative with it. Right, I think I've said all I needed to say, so I'll move on to FL Studio. Just so you know, I have the producer version of FL Studio 20, but it doesn't really matter what version you have, it'll still work. So first things first, go to the top left corner where it says Options, and then click MIDI Settings. Here, just make sure that the Mini Lab is selected for Input and Output, and then click Enable. Also, if you go to the controller type, you can also find any other kind of MIDI controller if you're using another one as well. But if it's not there, select Generic Controller. After that, you should be good. I've already got my mini lab plugged in, so all I need to do now is just get a sound and start playing. Now I'll show you how to use the pads. So there's a drum plugin called FPC, which basically allows you to drag and drop sounds and should automatically hook up to the mini lab. Now sometimes the pads won't directly map up to the drum plugin, so if that's the case, go to the arrow next to the pad number, and then select Map Notes for Entire Bank. After that, just go through and hit each pad so that it maps out correctly. Now, assuming that you want your own sounds instead of the ones already on here, just go to the top left corner of the plugin where there's an arrow, then you want to go to where it says Presets and click Empty. Now you can get your own sounds in there. To do that, go to the left where it says Packs, and then go to Drum Mode Audio. From here you can find kicks, snares, hi-hats, or anything else you want. All you have to do is drag and drop them over to a specific tile, which corresponds to a certain pad. Right, so I've got all my sounds. You can mess around with this as much as you want, it's pretty fun. You can loop with it, you can just play in general. But apart from that, I'm going to move on to how you use the knobs. To do that, I'm just going to quickly open up Analog Lab Lite, which is free if you've already got the Mini Lab. Now, you can just try use the controls without the Mini Lab, but if you do try turning the knobs straight away, it won't work. But there is a way around it. At the top, you'll find a button that says Multi Link to Controllers. If you press that and then tweak your control, you should be good. From there, just turn a knob on the Mini Lab, then it should work. Psych! This thing appears, which I still don't know why. This glitch only seems to occur for Analog Lab Lite, but if it's not really happening for your computer, then good for you. Apart from that, you can still control stuff such as the volume on the mixer, or anything else you can find. It's pretty simple, just find something that you want to control, press the multi-link button, and tweak it up on the mini lab. Another thing that you can control are EQ levels, so this can be pretty handy if you want. All in all, I think I've covered everything for the Arturia mini lab. If you're still not sure about something for FL Studio or even Ableton, feel free to leave a question in the comments below. Apart from that, thank you for watching this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon.